Hi, it's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'm the PhD Antiques Appraiser. My guests are coming. I don't know what's coming. Everything's not, nothing's vetted here. I don't see it before. You show it to me. So if you've got your art antiques or collectibles, I want to hear your questions and I want to see your objects. Here are my guests. Make sure you know how to use your camera. <laughs> I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? What's your first name? Am I on? Is this me? That's you. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm shocked. Hi. We surprised you, didn't we? Here we are, doing what we said we were going to do. I Where know. are you from? What's your first name, sweetheart? Um, I'm Megan, and I'm from Mount Vernon, Washington State. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So show me what you got. you have something in a frame there? Yeah, I right do. Right up to the camera. I know. I love to see your beautiful face and your lovely hair, but you got to show me the object. Oh, right up to the camera. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. That's okay. There you go. Okay. We got some glare. And okay. is your okay? So your piece is under glass. It looks like it's a print. Is it signed? Um, it is signed. I actually think it's a watercolor. Um, How'd you acquire it? I got it at a thrift store. Okay. How much did you pay for it? Twenty nine cents. How much thrifting do you do? Twenty nine cents, really? <laughs> well, this thrift store is amazing. It was on a, a red tag sale. I couldn't believe it. Red tag sale, twenty nine cents. I mean, you know, twenty nine cents. Why do they bother to open the store for twenty nine cents? I mean, no. right? It okay. Was good for me. I was excited. <laughs> hey, show me the back. No, no, no. I'm happy for you, honey. Show me the back. Yeah, you got it. Uh, it may look like a watercolor, but it's an aqua tint. So it's intended to look like watercolor, but it is a print. Did you use the loop and take a look at it? I did. I did use the loop. Okay. Yeah. So that particular piece is not is not signed, correct? It is signed, actually. It is. Who's it signed by? It's really hard to see, but it says R R H A M M O. What's what's happening in the background? Do you have little kids or stuff happening? What's what's happening in the background? R R H. I have no idea. Oh, it's you. Actually, it's a it's a reverb of you. Oh, okay, that's great. All right. Oh, no. Sorry, no, my kids no, are. No, no, don't apologize. It's not a problem. Value on your piece one hundred and fifty dollars. It dates to the middle part of the nineteen seventies. Nice to meet you. Thanks for calling. Who's my next guest? Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. All right. What's happening, folks? I want to see if you have questions about these objects that you see or questions about your own objects. I want to see them typed in the comments, please. I'm happy to, of course, answer your questions. This is Ask Dr. Lori. I'm the expert. You're going to get expert answers to your questions. Hi, how are you? I'm Dr. Lori. Can you hold your camera horizontally, please? Hi, horizontally Dr. will actually help you. There you go. And help everybody see everything. Now, you look Hello, familiar everybody. to me. Did I talk to you this morning on a video? Yes. Yes, we talked this morning. Okay, that's good because I talked to a slew of people. You know what happened this morning? after I talked to you, I well, evaluated a $10,000 painting that was purchased at a thrift store for another video caller. Oh, nice. wow. That's awesome. It was awesome. Very exciting. Yeah. Today was a good day on the video call. So how are you? What's your first name? Uh, Ina. I'm Ina, doing well. Thank where you. Where are you calling from, hon? I'm calling from Fort Wayne, Fort Indiana. Wayne. Right, right, right. Fort Wayne. I remember now. It took me a while. Now you're originally <laughs> from Russia. Is that right? Yes, I am. Yes. Right. Okay. So tell me, what have you got, honey? Okay. Um, I have this. It's so hard for me to get this. It's really hard. And here's why it's hard. You need to not move. You can't have both things moving at once. You okay. and the piece. So piece has to be stationary. Camera has to be stationary. Now take a look. So looks like a career Sorry. knives print. Or the type. Yeah. It same is yeah. It is by Moreland and it says engraved by Ebel and it's fox hunting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh color hand colored lithograph. It's a color lithograph. Can we see the piece and your camera has to be horizontal? Yes. I'm going to get to be a real kind of you know what school marm about no, this. No, that's okay. It's got but like it's, a it's it's difficult for people to see. People want to see the object and I need to see it if you want an accurate appraisal. So, a couple of different things. First of all, it is a hand colored lithograph. Hunt scenes are very, very popular. Late 19th, early 20th century, in the manner, of course, of courier knives in the United States. Value on that piece about $150 with the frame. Thanks very much. Nice to see you. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So it's good to see all of you. Thanks so much for participating. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. If you haven't been on, I want you to try it. Somebody said to me, but I'm nervous, Dr. Lori. Don't be nervous. You're talking to me. Don't worry about anybody else. All right. I've got guests here, and this is Ask Dr. Lori Live. We do this as often as we can. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm Janine. I'm calling from San Luis Obispo, California. Are you like out sunbathing or something? You look it's, so like relaxed. <laughs> it's hot today. <laughs> oh, so you're just kind of out doing your thing. Okay. I like it. <laughs> all right. Okay. How long so, did it take you to grow all your hair? This is COVID hair. How long is, did it take yours? This is COVID hair too. Yeah. So <laughs> mine is usually like over here. So I yeah. got this and then I cut two inches off to try to encourage a little, a little cousin of mine who's three to get his hair cut. I said, I'll cut mine. You cut yours. And he didn't cut it. <laughs> uh, I tried, but I well. cut off two inches during, I don't know, the middle of the, of the two thousands. And then I grew again. And so yours is really long. Did you always have it really long? Uh, no, I go back and forth. Sometimes short, huh. sometimes long. Do you always yeah. have the bangs? Yeah, I, I don't help the patients to grow them out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway, all right, enough about hair and makeup and stuff. Okay. All right, girl stuff. Tell me, what, what have you got? Oh, that's girl I have, stuff. I like that. Uh, you haven't, I haven't done jewelry in a while, so I have this cuff bracelet. Okay, it, and I, it looks, I like it. Yeah, it looks like, I don't know, rose quartz of some kind. That looks like rose quartz to me. It doesn't look like lavender jade. It has a nice security chain. It looks like, of course, it's enamel on the gold tone metal. How'd you acquire it? Uh, it was my husband's grandmother's. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So you married well. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> she liked her jewelry. <laughs> well, jewelry is marrying well, honey. I like jewelry. I'm single, but I have jewelry. Anyway, what I wanted to say to you, sweetheart, was do you like the big cuff? I don't like that. The big one, no. other than the, the Native American pieces, those big cuffs are hard to wear. Right? Yeah, you know? I don't. I don't care for it. That one's quite nice. I do like the attention to detail and the quality of the, of course, workmanship. I like that. Um, again, I'm not crazy about um, the actual size of it, but it's. But I think that this is really a wonderful piece. Value on that, oh, time period for that piece. That piece dates to the turn of the 20th century prior to 1915, and value on that piece is easily $250. So even if you don't like it, maybe you want to wear it because it's worth some cash. <laughs> I'll try. Oh, you can trade that. You can trade that in for shampoo. There we go. <laughs> Great right, to see you. you. Bye -bye. A, a lot of um, good wishes to, of course, California. She's all relaxed. She's just like, oh, here I am. Very, very comfy on the West Coast. Uh, you bought a Ceramo vase that was not only marking is a 50 and a W. Oh, the only marking is a 50 and a W. From what I read, it should have more info on the bottom. Is that correct? Well, the more info, the better, Maria. Um, but there oftentimes you'll see pieces that are ceramic that of course don't have a lot of marks. So this is why I try to teach you on the channel, how do I evaluate the pieces for quality based on glaze, form, also structure, type of ceramic and such. You can send me a picture, I'll be happy to do it. Or of course, try to get on live with Ask Dr. Lori Live, I'll be happy to take a look. Thanks for your um, super chat and super stickers because they support the channel. I, I, I appreciate it. I'm so glad that all of you are getting on. You got to work at it. Got to be here. And I'm happy to do it and learn how to use those cameras. It'll be easier. So thanks so much. I'm happy to do the video calls. I hope it's helpful. And thanks so much for your encouragement to others. I appreciate that too. If you'll share the channel and also of course support the channel, it helps me make more videos for all of you. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? Did we scare you? We scared two people now. I'm going to keep track of how many people we're scaring. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, it's you. I mean, you're sitting there waiting for me. Here I am. I know. Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm Hi, so baby. excited. What's your name and where you're calling from? I'm, my name is Linda and I'm calling from the Villages, Florida, but I normally mm -hmm. live in Houston. The Villages, the Villages are fun with the, with the, I always think of the carts. The yeah, the golf, golf carts, yeah. You know, yeah. You know, yeah. Yep. You guys are playing a lot of golf, a lot of golf, a lot of sun, the Villages, Florida. Yeah, so you've got a person, intense. so you've got a person who's doing your camera work. You've got a, a reflection of the glass, of course, in the lamps, and then you've got a reflection of the mirror behind it. A lot going on in that room, <laughs> right? No, oh, it's. Did I lose her? Wait. Oh, sorry. What's your first name? My, my name yeah, is you're... Linda, and these are lamps of my mother's. Okay. And she bought them in San Francisco many years ago. Did she buy and... them in the 1960s? I'm I sorry. need to see the lamps, not you. There you go. That's what I need okay. to see for all of you. I need to see the lamps, not you. I want to see your face in the beginning. Then I need to see the lamps or whatever the heck you're trying to show me. Okay. And now I can see the whole rest of the house with all the reflections. Good. Let's see. What else can we see back there? <laughs> I'm looking at you I don't know again. why my sound went away. Dang all it. All right. Well, I lost you. So... 
The lamps we're going to have to, okay, there are the lamps. Your lamps, uh, yeah, uh, blown glass lamps for the shades. Of course, they're molded glass lamps at the bottom. You're looking also at the details. As I said, middle part of the 20th century, each lamp worth about $200. They're quite nice. I would say you have to get the, the right wattage um, of the bulb so you don't have this very, very harsh, of course, um, this harsh reflection out of the light. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Thank you, Dr. Lori. You're welcome. You're welcome. So that's about as much patience as I'm going to have with all of that. This has got to be, you know, easier for all of you. I need to see the objects because you know what happens? All the rest of you guys who are trying to watch can't see the objects. So KNS understands and supports the channel often with super chats and super stickers. Thank you very much, Ina. I appreciate your super chats and super stickers. And I know when you do that, you're showing me that you appreciate me. So thank you very much. Um, a lot going on. Yeah, I had a great call also and found some wonderful costume jewelry today that was at a yard sale. And my video caller said to me, you know what, Dr. Lori, everybody was looking at this piece and chatting about it. And I just reached in and grabbed it and paid for it and left. I thought that was great. She was just like, everybody's talking about that piece. Nobody's acting. I was going to act. I thought it was great. Oh, hi. Dr. Lori here. This is Ask Dr. Lori live. Thanks for being with me. Oh, okay. Return of the Jedi is not going to return, I guess. <laughs> if you need a video call, you want a video call, it's a great gift idea. We have video call gift certificates too. So for that person who has everything and you want them to talk to me about the objects that they've got, they certainly can do that. We've seen some wonderful, lovely testimonials and I appreciate those very much about our video call service where you can talk to me for a specific amount of time about your objects. Hey, how you doing? I'm Dr. Lori. What's up? Hi, Dr. Lori. It's Kurt Hi. from Wausau, Wisconsin. Hi, Kurt. How are things going? How are things in Wausau, Wisconsin? Uh, they're going good. Are the Brewers even playing? Are, you know, I saw that the that the Cubs had a, a full stadium last night. Uh, they are playing. Okay, I like to hear it. Baseball, I like to hear it, right? Baseball. Yep. <laughs> All right. So what are you doing? What have you got? Well, I have this very heavy, oh, very I like large. That. I like that. Glass vase. Yeah, it's kind of a vessel. That's, yeah. Yeah. White okay. on the inside. Okay, nice case glass. Nice. Yep. Uh, mm. No marks. A Neil closed, a uh, cooled down pontil. That's nice. So blown and cased. I like it. Yep, nice How and flat. How much did you pay? How much did you pay? Um, I think probably about 10 bucks. Well, are you somebody who's going to negotiate or no? Oh, I always negotiate. Oh, uh, yeah. It's kind of like <laughs> if either it's in you or it's not. I'm trying to teach a lot of people to negotiate. What's your best negotiation tip? What's your, you know, people say, what's your best pickup line? What's your best negotiation line? Uh, will you take less for it or will, will you, take you less? negotiate? Do you, give them, do you give them a number? Do you give them uh, a number? Usually, yeah. Yeah. It's a good idea to give them a number and be pretty low. Don't feel, don't worry about insulting anybody. Go low. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. What did you pay? Ten bucks? Uh, I think, yeah, about 10 bucks. How old do you think the piece is? I think the piece is from the 1980s or 1990s. Oh, okay. I, I thought yeah. it was older. No, it feels like Saved by the Bell to me. Remember Saved by the Bell? You know, I never Mario watched Lopez. it. Oh my gosh. Mario Lopez before he was Mario Lopez. <laughs> you know, that show, a lot of colors, that kind of thing. That shape is very 1980s, 1990s, late 80s, early 90s. You know, when okay. the ties were really, really skinny and everything was kind of pink and turquoise. Do you remember this? Were, you were there, right? Because I was there. I, yeah, I was there. <laughs> yeah. Value on your piece, which is American made, late 1980s, early 1990s. Value on that piece, $150 for your $10 investment. All right. Thank you. Don't forget the 80s. <laughs> Bye. Uh, we'll see if the Brewers do well this year. My Yankees are the ones who are going to win it all. We all know that. But anyway, so that's baseball for you. Thanks very much for being with me. I'm Dr. Lori. Again, I don't know what's coming. And we're doing, of course, the appraisals here on Ask Dr. Lori Live. A lot of you are asking, how do I get in? How do I get in? How do I get in? Read the instructions right there. 
It's right there on the channel. Is jewelry marked Emmons older than those marked Sarah Coventry? It depends. Sarah Coventry has a very long lifespan. A lot of the, the history of the company is relatively long. So you will see, of course, Emmons pieces, middle part to the late part of the 20th century, and Sarah Coventry pieces are also from that time period. So middle 1950s to about you know the, the end of the century to 2000s. But Sarah Coventry and even Emmons will have different marks, different ways the mark is shown throughout their history. And this is true of a lot of costume jewelry. If you want to see about gold jewelry and you want to see about costume jewelry marks, go to my website at drlaurieve.com. And you can, of course, learn all about it. You can just go to the search at portion and just put in costume jewelry and you'll see all the information that I give about it as well as gold jewelry. If you don't know the marks, I'm telling you about it on the website. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. What's your first name? Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm Jamie, and I'm calling from Kentucky. All right, where in Kentucky? Camelsville. All right, where's Camelsville? Uh, South Central. All right, got it. I like to know the geography. You know, I think of the map in my brain. I go, okay, she's here. All right, so what have you got, hon? Thanks for um, the super stickers. I have a... Uh, Old black forest clock. Old black forest cuckoo clock. What kind of bird is in there? Do you ever wonder about that? What kind of bird is that? Who's that in the back? Uh, that's my husband. What's he doing? Chilling. Can he help me. you? So can can he hold the clock? Maybe. Uh, maybe no, he can hold the clock. Probably not. Because <laughs> your yeah. arm's in the way, baby. Thank you, hon. What's your name? Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Thanks for your help. Oh, One can get box little... out of the way. Yeah, Let's that's the original out of the way. Box. There we go. Down a little bit farther. Thanks, Ryan. So, does it work? And do those do those little figures move around? Yes. Do you like stuff from the seventies? Were you when were you born? The nineties? You? I was born in eighty nine, but I'm oh, all that's about 90s. the seventies. That's like Saved by the Bell, 89, 90. Okay. So this is the 70s. These are these Black Forest style cuckoo clocks. They go around. Does yours work? Yes. Value on yours about two hundred and fifty dollars. Where'd you get it? Um, it was gifted to me, and I okay. have the original paperwork and box. Okay, it's nice. I like it. I would like the ones that have the actual. They have like applied ornament with the leaves and stuff on it. And sometimes there's a deer head on it. You've seen those. Those yes. are usually a little bit more valuable. Tell your husband thanks for his help. Oh, <laughs> he got right. pulled in. He didn't mean it, but he got pulled into this. Thanks, honeys. So really nice. So it was gifted and that's nice. It's always nice to get a gift. Free is best, right guys? Free is best. I'm Dr. Lori, the expert PhD antiques appraiser. And I'm here to tell you the true values of these pieces, right? Based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold, they have to have sold, right? Not just, I think I can get 40. Oh, somebody's asking 90. Oh, somebody else is selling it for 20. That's not an appraisal. An appraisal is based on, again, where the pieces have actually sold. And that's what I'm telling you with my many, many years of appraisal experience and, of course, my PhD in art history. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. I'm going to ask you to hold your camera horizontally, please. And I, oh, there you go. What's your first name? Where are you calling from? I'm Teresa. I'm from Kentucky. Hi, Teresa from Kentucky. So tell me what's happening today. I have this um, portrait or this. Uh, I think it's okay. okay, I need to see it where you are. We're looking at your pretty face. I want to be looking at the object itself. Uh-oh. Dun, 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 dun. Big black screen. Okay, next guest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How you doing? Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, sweetheart. What's your first name? Uh, Valerie. What'd you do today, Valerie? Tell me about your day. <laughs> um, today, I just stayed home with my dog. <laughs> stayed home with your dog, so it was a relaxing day? Yeah. What kind of dog do you have? A chihuahua. She's Where's your dog? Let me see. Let me see. I want to see yeah, the dog. She's cutie. Where? She's a cutie pie. What's she doing? Let's see. Hi, puppy. What's your name? <laughs> oh, I want to kiss her. What's her name? Estrella. Oh, Estrella, you're so pretty. <laughs> she knows she's pretty. She can tell. Well, that's her cameo. Okay. Show yeah. me your piece. Do you have a cameo too? So I, um, I got this right cameo. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You're good. You're doing great, honey. Go oh, ahead. Okay. I got this cameo and there was just something really different about it. Don't move so much. Okay. All right. I yeah. Mean, something really different about it. Uh -huh. and, like, and when I did the research and stuff, like this doesn't look like a typical like camel, a uh, shell camel or anything like that. It looks right. um, to be like glass or a gemstone or 
the thing about it is the color that's kind of throwing me off. Okay. And so then the also, blue, oh, I'm the sorry. Blue. And then just the gold, I'm not sure if it's actual gold because when I went to see if it was gold, I tested it myself because I have a kid as well. Okay. And um, it like I thought it did pass for 10K, but I guess it didn't when I went, when I went to go check. So I'm not technically sure if it's actual. Um, yeah, I don't know if you did it correctly. I'd like you to retest it again. It looks like 10 karat gold. Um, the other thing I want to, to talk with you about, the blue color is not uncharacteristic. Sometimes they actually dye them. Yeah, that's 10 karat gold. So a couple of different things. You've got a locket, which also has the cameo on the front. Can we see the front? Yes. Okay, and no other markings on it. No other markings. Okay, usually there are marks. If you want to learn the marks, you can go and you can learn it on, of course, my gold jewelry list for marks right on drlorev.com. That piece is worth $150. It's a, it's a, it's actually a pendant as well as a locket as well as a cameo. So it's kind of three in one. Dates to about the 1920s. Thank you, hon. You're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> my my pleasure. It's nice to see you. I love to see you guys collecting the jewelry. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so that's a nice piece. Ah, uh, music part DIY built individual university in a box. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, a Regina music box, per for perhaps? That was a little cryptic for me. So try to type it again so it's not so cryptic, sweetheart. Then I'll try to answer it for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I like to know where you got these pieces. I like to know how much you paid for them. Was it a thrift store find or maybe a yard sale? How did you find it? Here's my next guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. What are you doing? You're fixing your hair? Okay, let's braid our hair. Yes, I'm so sorry. Wow. I'm going to braid. No, braid while you talk. You go ahead. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. What's your first name? Debbie. Hi, Debbie. How you doing? I'm fine. Show me your object. Oh, so I love to collect uh, Victorian morning jewelry. I you do? Know. I can't see it. You know why you're sitting? Oh, oh there you go. That's better. Oh. Nope, you're not any, nowhere near the camera. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's better. I like that. Yeah. So what kind of stones have you got? A moonstone in the middle? Uh, no, it's a glass panel that's empty. Oh, a glass panel the, that's empty. That's oh, but, lousy. Oh, that, no, Let's on the back. Braiding. Are you braiding? You're not doing your hair. I'm doing my hair and you're not doing yours. <laughs> on the back is... Oh, a, so she's not going to do her hair now. Oh, so you made, me, you made me do the braid and now you don't care. See, there's my braid. <laughs> All right. I want to make sure I, so on the back, okay. there's a pan, a little door. It's a compartment that opens up. Yeah. And, there, and there is hair. Yeah. In the, Very typical. Uh, so the back opens. Where are, you calling, where are you calling from? Oh, Newport News, Virginia. Oh, that's nice. All right. So, yeah, so that's the where pan. basically the locket of hair goes in there. And yes. off the side, what are the stones on the other side? You've got oh, a gold plate. Black, black glass. Black glass. Okay. So you don't have any jet and you don't have any onyx and you don't have any of that. You have black glass pieces and you tested those with using my tester for glass? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Got to get the tester. I it really will. will help you. You'll be surprised at how much it'll help you. If you really are collecting Victorian jewelry or morning jewelry, you need the tester. It's on my shopping page. It's easy to find. Value on that piece in that condition, just about $300. Oh, wow. How much it did you a, pay? How much did you pay? A, oh, uh, I bought on eBay 60 pounds, I think. So. 60 pounds. Okay. So, but there's a, a, a nice inscription on the back. It's um, HWT. Obit, uh, March 9th, 1823. Yeah, that's unfortunate, actually. Oh, okay. no. I know you like it, but other people don't always like monograms. Okay. Uh, it does help you to identify, of course, the 19th century date, morning jewelry. Very nice. I like it a lot. It's a nice piece. Thanks so much, even though you didn't braid your hair. So you're playing with your hair before, and I start playing with mine, you won't play with me. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. And my next guest, let's see what object you got and what you're doing. Hi, how are hey, you? Hey, Dr. Lori. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I thought I would let you not see my face and get right to it. Well, I like to see everybody's face. What else is there? <laughs> what's, on, what's behind you, hon? What's your first name? I'm I couldn't hear any of that because you're very, um, you're very scratchy. I am Leslie from Podunk, Idaho. Oh, there you go. That was a little bit better. I think okay. you're, um, maybe you're getting something. I'm glad you're enjoying the show, Heidi. I'm enjoying it too. So um, this part of Idaho, what's it known for? You got to read, Tam Jams. You got to <laughs> read. That's how you can be a caller. Read on, on the channel. So I, let's see it. Let's see your object. 
I like the shelves full of stuff. Is this your office? Uh, yeah, I'm still unpacking. Oh, okay. That's great. Art and artists of our time, subscription received. Can I see the bottom portion so we can see what kind of publication this is? Let's see. Uh, there you go. So there's the publisher on Broadway in New York and Selmar Hess. Okay, we got it. All right. Can I? Can you show me a couple pages so we can see what art and artists of the time are? Yep. And I think I have all of them. Okay, all. Just give me one representative sampling, probably early 20th century. Sorry, they're uh, in rough shape. That's okay. Take your time. I like your gloves. They're like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I got them from, with my loop. Let's see. Oh, okay. Nice. All right. How many of those are in there? 25? Uh, 66, I think, probably the whole series. 66. Probably the whole, all the pieces, they're worth about 5 to $10 each, depending on the subject okay. matter of the artist. So, you know, you've got to add those up, but that's about where you are. And the condition is really the problem, which is why the value is pretty low. I yeah, they were, they were in a barn somewhere and got donated today, so... I see. I see. I suggest you try a Solander box if you're going to keep it for yourself. If you're no. going to re if no. you're going to resell it, then I want yeah. you to think about a plastic bag, right? Before okay. you basically do anything else. Some people might say, "Oh, I just want to buy one or two, whatever it might be." Thanks for being okay. with me. Thank you. I like the lipstick color. <laughs> Pretty. I like the bright colors. You know, I have one friend. Oh my gosh, I have one friend always with the lipstick, constantly putting it on all the time. I bought a pair of M A Z fourteen karat gold and black onyx earrings at an estate sale. That's great. That's wonderful. So it's um it's black onyx, which is a you know a nice precious stone. And then fourteen karat gold, always good. Remember, if you see if it says fourteen K P or if it says fourteen K you know G F or whatever it might be, you want to look at all those marks on my website. But the, that particular piece will definitely have value. Those earrings as a pair in good condition will definitely have value. And some of those are classic kind of looks. 14 karat with the black, oftentimes black onyx, oftentimes has good looks. Thanks so much for the super sticker. I appreciate all of them. I want you to share. And I also appreciate when you, of course, um, have, uh, share the channel as well as support the channel. I had a couple of people naming other people, other community members on the channel today on video call saying, you know, so-and-so really helped me. And I enjoyed being on the comments and commenting and asking questions and talking to other people on your channel, Dr. Lori, because, you know, you're sparking us to think more and you're sparking us to learn more. And I'm, I'm seeing that I'm succeeding more. I'm upping my game. So I love the interaction that you're all having on the channel. So thanks for that. Keep that up too. And of course, I want to hear your comments and I want to know what questions you might have about these objects that I'm looking at. So, okay. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Here's another guest. Hi, how Hi, are you? Lori. I'm how doing well. You? How are you? You're very well. And I've appraised a couple things for you. So where are you? You're Kathy, right? Yes. That's fantastic. You remember. Okay, I'm going to guess that you're somewhere like Florida, Virginia. Where are you? Dallas, Texas. Oh, I was totally off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was <laughs> trying. It's hard when you see thousands and thousands of people. Goodness. No, oh, I love your show. It's fantastic. Nice to see you, Kathy. To be a guest on the channel, you have to read where it says, how do you be a guest? It's right there. It's right there on all the social media. It's right there. Just have to read and, and follow the directions. We make it very easy. Okay, Kathy, what have you got? I've got this Hitchcock. I've got six Hitchcock chairs. I got it at a thrift store. Can't see it. Back it up. Okay. Back it up. There you go, sweetheart. You got it. And your cameraman's doing great, or your camera woman's doing great. I really like the the eagle motif. That's called the yeah. back flat. That rail. That rail. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. We're talking about the eagle. There we go. So you see the back splat right there in the back of that chair where your, your back will actually lean up against. That's a beautiful eagle. Very, very nice. Hitchcock style, originally Litchfield, Connecticut. And then you've got that nice crest rail with the nice rectangular element that also has the black against the gold contrast. Very nicely done. The rush seat seems to be in very good condition. And I like, of course, the scrolled arms. All these terms are so you can use them. So when you have to describe something to resell it or to, of course, list it, you know what to use, what terminology to use. I'm trying to teach you how to up your game. That particular and chair, you said you had six? I have six of them, but not armchairs, just regular chairs and this one armchair. I okay. wish I had two armchairs, but I don't. Okay, so you have one armchair and then you have five other side chairs? Yes, the... Okay. the 
Are they all in the same condition? Yes, they're all in really good condition, I think. Can you turn over the bottom or is that too hard for you, Kathy? No, I can do that. That's what I want to see. I wanted to see the bottom. You know, I wanted to see the bottom because um, when you look at the rush seat, you want to make sure it's neat, as neat on the top as it is on the bottom. Very nice. You can put it down, sweetie. Thank you for doing that. Uh, your piece dates to, of course, the mid to late 19th century and value on that one armchair is $400. The side chairs, if they're in the same condition, each side chair about $150 each. I love them. I think they're beautiful. Thank you so much. They're That's not so as good as the duck behind you. We all love the duck. Get a is shot it, of that duck. <laughs> there it is. Well, we all mother, love my mother called the duck a goose. Yeah, we okay. called it the goose. All right. Well, I'm not good with animals. Duck, goose, whatever it might be. Duck, duck, <laughs> goose, whatever. But that's a nice piece. I remember appraising that recently, too. Thanks so much, Kathy. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye, baby. Dallas. Dallas. Yeah, I got that one mixed up. I was thinking Virginia. Anyway, nice chairs, really nice chair. Furniture can increase value, of course. Got to keep them in good shape. I want you to look for things like good caned seats. And if a seat is not is not caned, it's not in good shape, it can be restored. You know, you want to call your local museum and ask for a, ref a reference for a good restorer. Who's going to know a good restorer for caning seats or restoring a rocking chair or re- finishing or uh, cleaning a painting, a museum. So you want to think about that too, but I'll help you too. So if you have questions, you can put them right here. Oh, I'm Dr. Lori, my next guest. Hi, how are you? I'm well, how about you? Good. I want to, I want to see your necklace. Show me your necklace. I want to see your necklace. Oh, Show me your necklace. That's oh, not what I'm no. showing you though. I like that. I don't care. <laughs> that doesn't Thank matter. You. I can see it. It's good. What's your first name? My first name is April. I'm from April. Bentonville, Arkansas. How are things in Arkansas? Is it hot? <laughs> Very hot. Very hot. But it's cool. Arkansas is a cool place. I like Arkansas. So um, I like your necklace very much. Thank you. What do you like best about my channel other than me? Oh, my God. How do I pick? Oh, um, you can't pick. Okay. Uh, I love all right. it all. The jewelry okay. and the art, they are just. Ah, okay. Are you learning things? And am I helping you? Absolutely. Okay, cool. So did you subscribe to my newsletter? I have not done that, but I am subscribed to your notifications and your channel. Okay, so subscribe to the channel, which is done here on YouTube. The newsletter is at drlorev.com. So go and do that because a lot of information comes out in our newsletter too. Okay, back to you, April. Thanks for telling okay. me that. I wasn't fishing for compliments, but I want to know what you guys like. I want you to type it in in the comments too. So I, can keep, doing, so I can keep doing more of what you like. Okay, okay. Okay, All of it. what have you got, sweetheart? Well, I am a jewelry lover and- I am too. I I found, I know, that's what I love so much. Um, I, do, I, I found it. this pair of, I make beaded jewelry. Did you see my bubble found, ring? This is my bubble ring. You can't see it probably, but it's all bubbles. I, I know you can't, you're all going to get mad at me for doing this and everybody backstage going, don't do that, Dr. Lori. I know it's bubbles. I'll show, show it to me. you one day. Oh, I'd okay, love so to. Okay, anyway, I figured you showed me mine. I showed you yours. It's only fair. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I really appreciate fine craftsmanship. Let's see and it. I found on eBay, this pair of Portuguese silver filigree earrings. Back it up a little, baby. Back it up a little, April. Back it up. It's called focal length. It's the length that you need between the lens and, and the object. That's pretty good. I can see that very nicely. So Portuguese filigree, um, where are you going? Portuguese filigree um, sterling silver, and it's marked, right? Actually, it's they are not marked, and I don't think they're sterling. I think they're higher higher than sterling because they don't tarnish. Okay, well, 925 parts, which is 92.5. Move it over to your right. That's the left. My right. My right or left, whatever. Right there is good. Hey, what's in that envelope? Is that like some love letter or something? <laughs> it's my anniversary card from my honey. Oh, how many years? 22. 22. Wow. Are you still happy? Absolutely. Yes. Isn't that nice? Yay. Good for you. 22. That's a big deal. Anyway, mm -hmm. I like those. So you think those may, might, might be more than 92.5% pure silver. I do because I work with sterling silver a lot. And when I've worked with precious metal clay, it has okay. the same patina, you know, okay. that doesn't tarnish. It's a brighter silver okay. than uh, some of the other alloys. Okay. Uh, and the, the craftsmanship of the filigree work is just amazing. Okay. Beautiful. Can you date them? 
I got them off eBay. I paid yeah. $90. Ah, okay. The girls don't know what they're doing. This is what I mean about eBay. I saw it selling for eBay for $90. And this thing I'm going to appraise a lot higher than $90. So when you say I saw it selling for $90, I think that's what it's worth. You really need to have an appraisal. Okay. No. So you have the pair, right? And then you yeah. have the filigree work. We think it's close to 999, which is typical in places like I Porto do. and Lisbon and other places of we Portugal, do. Portuguese silver. And a lot of great silver comes out of southern the southern Mediterranean or southern Europe, Italy, Spain, Portugal, right? And value on the pair, you've got two of them, right? Yes, ma'am. Value on the pair, it's going to be pretty high, probably between $950 and $1,200 for the pair. What did you pay on eBay? 90. The girl yeah. said her mother bought them in Portugal about 30 years ago. Yeah. And then Holy they're just moly. I know. I know. So you got Holy them for about 10% of what they're worth. Don't it's make Christmas. This, yeah. Don't make this mistake. If you're selling, you got to know what it's worth before you put it up. Don't let it go until you know what it's worth. Good for you, baby. I'm happy for you. <laughs> you made my day. Thank what you. They're beautiful. They're beautiful, and what, I, what I'm happy to see that you recognized is the quality of them. Yes. yes okay. Now, yes. the more important question is, what gift of jewelry did you get for your 22nd anniversary? Uh, he slacked this year. Oh, well, tell him that, you know what, you, you know, you got to get it's some okay. jewelry there. Or maybe he, can, maybe he can at least pay for those earrings. <laughs> there, <laughs> there, there we go, Dr. Lori. I like that, that line of thought. Happy Thank anniversary. You so much. Nice to see you, April. Thank <laughs> you. Bye bye. What fun tonight. What a good time on Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'm Dr. Lori. This is, of course, Ask Dr. Lori Live, where I'm going to tell you about what you got and what it's really worth. Thanks so much, Tax and Business Zone, Los Angeles. We really need you. Aries81, loving your videos, Dr. Lori. Thanks for the info. Oh, not the Red Sox. <laughs> okay, I love you, even though you love the Red Sox. Ah, okay, anyway. <laughs> I appreciate those of you who are Red Sox fans who still like me. I appreciate that a lot. Anyway, thanks for being here. And it's nice to see all of you. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Again, I don't know what's coming. I found a 19th century silver platter marked El Le Par, Au River, R. de Chose, Paris, stamped with two Minerva number ones, 95% silver. Is it worth a thousand bucks? I gotta see it. But I mean, it's gonna be pretty pricey. It's gonna be pretty pricey. I gotta see it before I would go give it a number like that, because that's cowboy appraising. You know, that's people who just shoot numbers out. So I'd like to see it before I commit to that. You know, it's kind of like blind dates. You kind of want to see them from the window before they while well, they're coming up the walkway. You know, you kind of go, eh, I don't know. I got to make a determination here. It's kind of the same thing. I like to see it before I make a decision. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Can you please put your camera horizontally? Horizontal? Okay. If you put on. Is that better? Uh, that's better. Okay. Let's well, I'm outside. So I'm outside. Your I'm going to see. But I'm going to have, I'm going to show you behind me. Oh, my yeah, name is Teresa. I'm sorry. I'm from Middletown, New York. I'm outside because I, I want to show you a sculpture. Um, I see it. I, show it to me. I, I love, and I love your show. I learned so much Thank from you. I enjoy going to Thank estate you. sales. Can you Thank see? You. I'll, I'll get a close up, but she's I rebar. I most of it. I can see so most of it, but your head's in front of like the body. I like the one sort of, I like the hair, the one little element. So it's metal, right? Constructed yeah, metal, so, and you, like a line yeah. drawing. Yeah, so that's exactly. So this is, I'm sorry, with the angles. So this is the base. Mm, I like the base too. Yeah, and, and so she uh, kind of goes up and she's ham she's like kind of hand hammered. Okay. I'm looking so at you your see. garage. I'm looking at your garage. Yeah. Let <laughs> me see the piece. <laughs> well, it's only funny if you're not getting frustrated up. looking at it. So it's not I'm funny. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay, honey. I do love you, but you got to work with me here. All right. How tall is she? How so tall she's is she? about six feet tall. Let's see if I can right. come in close. But she's hand hammered and um, she does have rust on her. What happened was, is my father-in-law was a metal detector. And okay. He had, and he went out um, and behind our house, there was what used to be a lake and people would dump they would just dump stuff in there. Wow. So he was out and about. I love and he, the metal detector people. Yeah. And I love them. anybody who's a digger, metal detecting. I love <laughs> them. And I met a lot of them with the Curse of Oak Island on history. 
you know, my yeah. friends, Rick Lagina and the, and the Curse of Oak Island folks. But yes, the stuff that the metal detector people, my friend Steph, for example, great metal detector. That particular sculpture is nice. It's line form. So it was done probably by a studio artist in her, his or her own studio. Probably a guy, I would say value. Oh, time period. 1970s value on that piece, just about $350. Really? I like that. Wow. Yeah. That's so, crazy. Oh my yeah, gosh. That's, yeah. that's a, just for something you just for something dug out of a lake. <laughs> but I well, love you had to get it out of there and you had to find it and you had to know how to use the metal detector well enough. I mean, you know, it's not as easy as it looks, but nice to talk to you, Middletown, New York. So thanks very much. Um, this is Do I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Thanks so much for being with me. Does Dr. Lori does not play. Everyone, please read and listen. I do play some, but you know, I don't want you guys to get frustrated. I want you to have the information that you need. And I do play. I mean, you know, <laughs> anyway. But my wife, the gold tester, that's right. Buy stuff for your wife. The gem tester, right. And the loop, right. She's on cloud nine. We're Dr. Lori fans. George, you're a good guy. She's lucky to have you. And don't forget, of course, to check out my shopping and specials page. And when you make a purchase, of course, like the loop, which will help you. It's a money magnet, I'm telling you. It'll show you things you never saw. When you do that, I do get a small compensation for your purchases, and, and that helps to support the channel. So thank you for doing that. But more importantly, I want you to have the tools you need to succeed, the tools you need to succeed. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you, Dr. Lori? Nice to see you. You're like all high tech, all ready to go. <laughs> well, I'd like to hear what's going on. So That's right. What's your first name? Where you, I'm sorry. What's your first name? Where are you calling from? Kimberly, I'm calling from Coralville, Iowa. Wow, where's Coralville? I've been to, where have I been? I've been to Rapid City, but that's kind of not Iowa. I've been to Cedar Rapids. I've been to, where else have I been? I've been to a lot of places in Iowa, actually. We're about 40 miles out from Cedar Rapids. Okay, so Cedar Rapids, okay. Yeah. Sioux City, I was in Sioux City. Oh yeah, that's um, a ways down yeah, there. Yeah, I like Sioux City. Iowa's fun, right in the middle of everything, right? You know, there's an underappreciated beauty here, yeah. I think that's very true. I think that's very true. Um, okay, so tell me what's what. How's it going? What's happening? Thanks what do you so want much. to look at? Hey, so is, that I, a plant? Love... is that an actual house plant, like indoor house plant? Yes, yes. This is my ah. little family here. Wow, they grow yeah. and eat, they grow and they're green in your house, huh? Yeah, well, you know, Dead. I like to get the really good ones that are forgiving if I abandon them. Dead, I kill them all. <laughs> yeah, I get busy picking and, and abandon them eventually. So, oh, do, oh, do you, they just kind of do they die or do you just get sick of it? No, no, they're um, they're just pretty resilient. I got these uh, yeah, really great little guys here. And are those just... snake plants? Those are snake plants, right? Who's in my Who's in my community who knows what kind of plants these are? Put it in the comments so I don't look too stupid. I don't okay. know anything about plants, yeah. and I can't bake, and I kill everything. <laughs> well, well, anyway, well, I should I mind. should get to your objects. Tell me about your objects, sweetheart. <laughs> Iowa, great. Iowa. So um, I, I always have an eye out for ornate frames and antique frames and stuff. And I found this a while ago. I've had it for a while because I wasn't able to find anything about it. And she's just really beautiful. I noticed her eyes are just a little larger than your normal um, painting. The frame is looking pretty old. It's kind of coming apart a little bit. Um, so mm. she's kind of a mystery to me. And I see the back. the back. We got I paid three eighty eight for it at Goodwill. It says nineteen sixty eight value eight fifty. Somebody decided. I want to see this. Says, I want to see. Okay, look at this. I want you to and Wiener. Okay, I want you to show me the back again because sure. you were talking through it. Okay, and and that's good that you were talking. I didn't mean to say you couldn't talk. I'm just saying if you look at all of that, all of that paint. You'll notice that this particular frame, which dates from the early 1900s, has been repainted several times. I thought maybe. The attention to detail on the front, can you turn it to the front? The attention to detail on the front of the frame only, then we'll get to the image, of the frame is actually something we typically see between about 1900, about 1920, maybe even 1905 and 1920. Think Downton Abbey. That time period, right? World War One. Sure. That time from about you know the time of the Titanic, which is 12, 1912, to about 1920 or so. Value on the frame alone is $150. The image in the frame is a late 19th century piece, so about 1890 to about 1905, of a child who has died. 
Oh. All of this is mourning. All of this relates to to make children look like angels indicates that they died during childhood. Very, very oh. typical of course of the late 19th century. So oftentimes she'll have some blue forget me nots. Sometimes they'll hold a sprig of rosemary. Oftentimes the hair and the eyes are quite big as if they can see everything. That's something we see in mourning artwork oftentimes or artwork of the dead as if they're all knowing and all seeing big eyes. And um, of course, the um, hair, which looks angelic too. So about 150 on the frame, I'd say another $100 for the artwork in the frame. They're sub the same time period, turn of the 20th century. And that's pretty nice for, for 350 bucks. How much did you pay for it? How did you acquire it? $3.88 at Goodwill. Um, just a couple of years ago, I have kind of a stash of ornate frames and interesting art I pick up. And yeah. This one I was at a loss for. So it sounds like I did pretty well. It's really nice. I like it. And the other thing that I oftentimes see, I'm, I was going to comment on your tattoos. The folks who recognize, of course, body art oftentimes recognize fine art too. So you got a good eye there. Really nice. Well, I guess they go hand in hand somehow. <laughs> hand in hand or arm in arm. <laughs> hey, yeah. Touche. <laughs> nice to see you, honey. Thanks. Thank you so much, Dr. Lori. My pleasure. It's always my pleasure. I'm lucky to be able to do what I do. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. That was fun. Um, and I'm um, taking your questions, of course. And I'm also looking at your objects. Who's my next guest? Don't forget to sign up for my newsletter at, at, at drlorev.com, which is the website, which if I say so myself is a wealth of information. So I hope you'll subscribe. Just go on to uh, drlorev.com. You'll see the thumbs up under free. Click on that and fill in your information. And when we send a newsletter out, we will send it to you. So nothing else you have to do other than sign up and then you'll get the newsletter. Don't forget video calls. They're also, of course, a lot, a lot of fun to do video calls with me. And my next guest, we're gonna talk about your object. I'm Dr. Lori, what's your first name? Hi, Dr. Lori, I'm Susie, uh, Northern Virginia. Hi, Susie, how are things? Uh, good, good, how are you? Good. I'm fine, what'd you do today, something fun? Tell me something fun. Tell me um, something fun. I went and picked up some items from a Stop estate it. auction that I won online. Would you go thrifting with me? Cause you know what? I'm coming up on some of my, of course, th Thrift with Dr. Lori videos. See what I'm going to look for. I'll show you one of those in a minute. There you go. Oh, How wow. about here with me what I would pick? <laughs> so I'd love to know what you would pick. So what'd you pick up today? Um, some Fostoria. Okay. Some Fostoria pieces, a little bit of glass. Yeah, they're candle holders. Oh, candle holders are good. What do you want to show me tonight? This, I don't know okay. what it is. Okay. It, it's three fish. Okay. I'm not sure what they're made out. They're really heavy. All right. It came with this dish. Okay, let's do this. First of all, you see the fish's mouth? Yes. Okay. Let's turn the fish's mouth and let's put those on the bottom of the table. Put those on the table. Mouth down. Do that. Okay, now, are there <laughs> holes for candles in the fish? There's Could you put a candle there? They go all the way through. Okay, they go all the way through. Could you put a candle in there? Yeah. Well, they're not really round. Okay, so you don't think you can put a candle in there. Now, the bowl, could. the bowl that you have, the bowl that you have, does it fit on there? No, <laughs> doesn't fit at all. So that's, those are two distinctly different objects. One of the objects doesn't have the piece that goes inside the insert. That's your fish. Yeah. The other object is the bowl. Oh, it came were together. They were they purchased together? Yeah, it came together like a set. It's not a set. <laughs> it's not a set at all. That, well, those pieces are, that piece right there, which again, mouth down, right? That piece there, right. So that's what you're looking at. That piece, of course, would hold something. Usually it's a cobalt blue glass and value on that piece. Yeah, you got to thrift with me. You want to thrift with me? Why wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> that particular piece is molded and it's late 20th century, not worth all that much. Let's see the bowl. All that much is under five bucks, anything under five bucks. Okay, the bowl's not bad. And the bowl has some C, kind of some C elements and it's pressed. You got a little conch shell and a 
starfish and a couple of things that look good in one of those houses that's all blue and white in Florida. You've seen those houses, right? You know, everything's blue and white or, or seafoam green. So that's nice. Is that like a blue color or a green yes. color of the glass? Blue. blue. Yeah, blue. It's nice. It's also late 20th century. I'd say value on that bowl is about $25. How much did you pay? A dollar. A dollar is good to make 25. That's not bad. And yeah. you know, fish are good luck. So that's good. Well, actually, they represent long life. So it's so not bad candles, to be around. Candles go, go in here. <laughs> yeah, you got you missed the part of that. So maybe what they did was they got it separated at the estate sale. This happens at estate sales. When you're at estate sales, I want you to look for the correct lid on the teapot. I want you to look for all six of the matching glasses of barware. I want you to look for, you know, the top of the cookie jar. You got to look around at estate sales because people move things. It's just like the thrift stores. People move things. Nice to see you from Northern Virginia. Thanks for being with me. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD antiques appraiser. And what I was saying was you can thrift with me. Yeah, you can thrift with me. You can do it through a video call. And coming up, we've got a great video for you, which premieres tomorrow, Sunday. And you can, of course, watch that one each week, a new video that comes out. And that one is Thrift With Me. And I'm going, I go all over the world thrifting with folks. And this particular site is going to be a lot of fun. Watch what I find. You'll be surprised. <laughs> I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Jenny, you got to read how to become a guest. It's very simple. It's right there. A lot of people in the um, chat, a lot of people who are watching are helping folks. And this is what you have to do. It's not difficult. Lots of people are able to get on. And it's the description and the information is right there. All you have to do is read. And I say that when I send emails to you too. A lot of you are asking questions. And I always say, you know, you got to read what I tell you in the emails. And I'm happy to, of course, let you know. Hi, how are you, Jackie? It's nice to see you. Jackie's from California. She's been on a couple of times and she's getting lucky once again. I like the polka dots. Pretty. Oh, thank you. Hi, Dr. Lori. Nice to see you. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Very Thanks good. for being with me. So well, what did you do today? Jackie has a very interesting job. I'm not going to reveal it if she doesn't want to. But she has an interesting job in, of course, the entertainment industry. Right, Jackie? I do. I do. <laughs> You're and going, what does Jackie do? What does Jackie do? Oh, after 30 it? years, I don't know how interesting it is anymore. You've been doing it how long? 30 years. 30 years involved with, yeah. of course, producing of films and, and such. So and, nice to talk and, with and, you. Um, and I like, you. The, I like the owls behind you because my dad collected owls for years and years, nutcrackers and owls. And those owls from the 1970s are really great. I think they're beautiful stoneware and then they're painted. I like those owls behind you. The tunalas from Mexico. I love those. Very so, nice. So tell me what you got, hon. So I took your advice. Okay. What was my advice? Tell me. I'll, I'll share my wisdom. <laughs> Cut glass. Okay. This is something that's usually as I would pass by. I would not think about it. But you've been talking a lot about Brilliant Cut Glass. Yes, yes. I've been talking about American Brilliant Cut Glass. Here's a couple reasons why. American Brilliant Cut Glass hit its height in 1925 in that time period. It was a little bit earlier than that, but just about 100 years ago from now. I'm go I think we're going to see a big spike back. It really fell out of favor in the last 10 years, and I think it's going to come back strong with all of the rest of the glass. You know, the Murano has been doing well, and a lot of the other glasses have been doing well. Even the Carnival has been doing pretty well. The American American Brilliant Cut has been sort of like, oh, that's grandma's glass. But now you're seeing a lot of the young collectors bring it back. So I've been talking about it a lot. And I've been talking about it probably for three or about maybe two or three years saying you got to get it now while it's low because it's going to spike. It's going to spike. And I do trace the patterns of the market. So you wouldn't normally get that, right? And you said, oh, no, I'm going to buy that. Okay. Something that I would, I would pass by. Okay. It was shiny. It was pretty. Mm -hmm. And I, I took a chance. It didn't have a price on it. Okay. I asked the manager at Goodwill. Okay, Goodwill. And you know what she did? She tinged it. She tinged it. <laughs> Means nothing. So I said, what are you doing? She goes, well, I'm checking the quality. Oh, okay. <laughs> so okay. after she dinged it, she gave it to me for $3. Okay, well... This really didn't help her much, <laughs> but that's okay. So a couple of different things that what I want you all to look for, right? Here, of course, is your tip. So, you know, you want to know what to look for. Here's what to look for. I want you to look for intricate designs. I want you to look for deep cuts. I want you to look also for a nice form that's symmetrical, right? 
Bowls mm -hmm. are always popular. That doesn't mean that compotes aren't, but bowls are popular and will hold their value, right? And then yours happens to have little cutouts on all four sides, on four sides, right? Or on two sides? No, all around. All the way around. Nice. All the way That's around. What I like. And then the bottom is and the very intricate. Exactly, Jackie. And the bottom is also very important. For three dollars, you have a bowl there that's worth forty. Nice. Well, that's Thank nice. Now the tinging. Here's why the tinging doesn't mean a lot. A lot of the class people go, "No, oh, I can tell tinging. I can tell tinging." Look, the 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 ear. Your ear is the problem, not the glass. Your ear will sound different to your ear than it will to my ear. So mm -hmm. you can ting it, and it could sound good to you, and it could sound bad to me. So basically the tinking doesn't mean anything. Everybody likes to ting things and think it's the sound. But in fact, I do think that when you look at it, training your eyeballs will help you with all objects. Training your ear only helps you with one object. So that's what I like you to know. Nice, that's about 40 bucks for your $3 investment. That's pretty good. Thank you. Nice to see you, you again. Thank and you. The, and the polka dots are pretty. <laughs> So that was Jackie. And a lot of you, of course, are, of course, regular video callers. And a lot of you, of course, are signing up to the newsletter. Or you're starting to say, I want a week with you, Dr. Lori. I'm going to do the priority service. I want to know everything. I'm getting everything organized. Or I'm going to do that. And I'm going to have you look through my Etsy shop or my eBay shop and make sure everything's priced properly so I can sell for top dollar. Who's my next guest? Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi. I got you back. You got I'm me back. You I'm need to be back. horizontal, hon. Okay. Horizontal. Horizontal. Okay. You're horizontal now. Good. What's your first name? My name is Teresa. I'm from Kentucky. Hi, Teresa. I need you to hold up your object a little higher. There you go. So you got some earrings and you also have a brooch, right? Well, no, actually they're both earrings. I couldn't get the other one to hang. Oh, okay. I understand. All right. So you've got teardrop earrings. Are they marked at all? JJG. Oh, JJG. Great. Okay. So you've got a nice set, American made, early part of the 1960s. Those are, of course, um, hanging teardrop, sometimes called Aracondas. Very, very nice. I would say value for the pair, about $75 for the pair. Awesome. I paid three, maybe $2. That's wonderful. Would you wear them? Are they clip on? See, I don't like a clip on. It's hard for me to keep them on my ear. They always fall. So yeah, would no. you wear them or would you resell them? I'm, I'm going to resell them. And I'm sorry. Yeah. And where would you resell them? That's a very good question. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, let's talk a little bit about that. Where did you buy them? Was it Habitat for Humanity? Was it Goodwill? Was it Salvation Army? Was it a thrift store? Was it an estate sale, yard sale? Where was it? It was at a flea market. Savers. Flea market. Flea market. Okay. Flea market. So when you went, did you see them and it was like, oh, I have to have them? Or was it just like, oh, I, I guess I'll pick these up because it's a good deal? Well, you won't believe it. I'm a crafter and I've been looking for jewelry to tear apart to put in my crafts. Okay. So, a lot of people do that. But then I started watching you and I'm like, ooh, I've probably been throwing money away. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. So, but but again, your crafting is important. You know, your process of your making your art is important to you. It's important here. It's important here. So you want to keep doing that. But again, you might be able to get those pieces you need, not from pieces like this that could be resold as they are. Right. Exactly. Right. Did I give you a value on those? 75. I forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah. 75. 75 for the pair in that condition. Nice to see you. And thanks for your patience. I'm glad that you worked the tech out. Oh, well, thank you, Dr. Lori. Appreciate you. You're My awesome. pleasure. Continued success to you. That's what I like to hear. I want to hear that you're getting the information you can use and then you're using it and you're succeeding. Not just watching other people doing stuff. I want you to succeed. That's why when you go thrifting with Dr. Lori, I leave everything for you so you can go and get it and resell it for the values that I told you about. So I want you to know what to look for. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I hope you're enjoying this and all of the videos and I hope you'll share them too. Please share the channel and spread the word. And I want to, of course, see who else we've got here. Got a couple more. Here's my next guest. Hi, how are you? How are you doing, Dr. Lori? I'm doing fine. What are you doing? I am walking in here to see if you can look at a picture for me. Oh yeah? You want yes. me to look at a picture for you, Don? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. We all remember Don, right? Don and his wife. They're retired. They've been showing me pictures. What have Hi, you got? Hi, Hi, honey. How are you? What's your name again? Carolyn. 
Hi, Carolyn. How are you? Hey, Carolyn, have you been getting your hair cut and your hair done? Your hair looks good. My hair looks bad. Oh, thank you. I do about, I go about every six weeks. Do you go? Are you like religious about it? You go like you go to church every six weeks? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's about it. That's not nice. My mother in heaven is mad at me for that comment. Lori Ann, every week I want you there. Anyway, I give up. Go ahead. Hello from Ireland. I love Ireland. I had fun in Dublin. Oh, did I have fun in Dublin? Okay. Anyway, where did you get this painting of the ladies with the parasols? I got this painting on goodwill.com, uh, the auction site. Well, you know, Don and Carolyn aren't regulars. Where are you? Why don't you show up? I'll look at yours. You know, you're like, oh, Don and Carolyn are regulars. They're a nice guy. He's a nice guy. I'd like all of you to be the be the regulars. So get on there. <laughs> Find out how you're going to get on there. Make sure your tech works, and I'll pray something for you. Okay. You got it at Goodwill? Yes, ma'am. Online? Yes, ma'am. Why'd you buy it? Uh, cause it was a pickup only item. And I thought I actually like the picture. It's got a lot of nice colors in it. It has nice colors. I like the colors. I like the figures. I think the ladies faces are kind of like, I think a little kid could kind of draw those. Yeah. Yeah. Like even I could draw those. I'm allowed. They don't art. take very good pictures on that, on that site at all. Oh, so it's kind of like hit or miss. All right. Show me the back. Good. Now you've been doing this with me long enough, Don. Why is your wife moving the painting? What's wrong with you guys? I took it off the wall, though. Do you open, I mean, do you open up the door for her and pull out the chair? I mean, come on. I kill the bugs and she picks them up. All right, okay. <laughs> anyway, well, as the marriage, it's working. I better be quiet. All right, so you see this right here, very, very white, late 19th century canvas, and the same thing about the frame. Turn it over. Let's see the other side, please, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. Carolyn, you brute. <laughs> She is very strong. Carolyn's strong. All right. Go go closer in for me, uh, Don, so I can show everybody what I'm talking about. Show me the face. The face. That's not the face. That's not anywhere near the face, Don. There you go. You see that? That's a very simple artistic move. It's just sort of a half, a, a half circle to the bottom of the chin, not quite to the ear. You know, this half circle, and then basically a couple little eyebrows, and then the nose is the same as the eyebrows, just going the other way. So not great art in terms of execution, how they put the paintbrush down. Value on that piece, I'd go 75 bucks with the frame. How much did you pay? $29. Yeah, okay, not great. No. You got to work on that. Watch some more of my videos about, yeah. about of course, um, fine art and how you recognize the good pieces. Okay. But I still love you, Don. I love you, too. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you, Dr. Laura. You're welcome. You. It is nice to see you. They're cute. They're cute. Yeah, you got to get on. You got to get on. I want to look at all of your stuff. So let me see what you're doing. Let me see how you're doing. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you next time.